Database design is the organization of data such as tables, columns, data types, and indexes. Database design involves classifying data and identifying relationships between tables. For simple databases, the database design process is typically informal and developed quickly without process. However, larger and more complex databases typically have three phases. These are the analysis, logical design, and physical design phase. The analysis phase, also called the conceptual design or entity relationship or ER modeling, or even the requirements definition phase. This analysis phase specifies the requirements of the database irrelevant of which database system is going to be used. The database requirements are represented as entities, relationships, and attributes. An entity is usually a noun, such as a person, place, or thing, or an activity. And the relationship is the link between the entities, and an attribute is a property that describes the entity. For example, age to describe a person's age. An ER diagram helps to illustrate entities, relationships, and attributes. The following diagram is an example of an ER diagram. Entities are, re are represented by rectangles with the entity name at the top. You can see we have several entities. We have musician, album, sale, and customer. Relationships between these entities are represented by the lines between the rectangles. For example, a musician makes an album and then the album is sold in some kind of transaction and it's sold to a customer. Attributes are described using text inside the rectangles. For example, a musician, such as Kanye West, would be first name Kanye, last name West. It would store his date of birth. He would make an album like The College Dropout. It will list the number of tracks, and the genre would be hip-hop. He would set a sale price, the quantity of that album being sold, and the date and time of when it was sold. And then the customer would be, let's say, your information if you were to buy that Kanye West album. The ER diagram is part of the analysis design phase. The next design phase is the logical design phase, which implements the database requirement and is depicted in a table diagram, and the specified SQL is called a database schema. In a relational database system, logical design converts entities, relationships, and attributes into tables, keys, and columns. A key is a column that's used for identifying individual rows of a table. Tables, keys, and columns are specified in SQL with create table statements. The following is an example of a table diagram, which is a more detailed version of an entity relationship or ER diagram. And in this table diagram, the rectangles again are the tables with the table names on the top, and the columns are the text within the rectangles and below the column names. And you'll see that in the musician, album, sale, and customer table, we added an ID column. So each of these tables now has a unique identifier associated for each row. And then we added a new table called musician album, which kind of ties together the musician and album table. So the ID of musician is linked up to the musician ID of musician album, and the album ID ties to the ID of the album table. And then in the sale table, we also added an album ID and customer ID fields as um, new columns. And album ID ties to the ID of album, whereas customer ID ties to the ID of customer. The keys within these tables are the solid bullet points, and the columns that refer to the keys are the empty bullet points with the arrows. The third phase of the database design process is the physical design phase, which optimizes the data by adding indexes and specifies how to organize the tables on storage. For example, rows of a table may be sorted on the value of a column and sorted in some kind of um, order, like ascending. And physical design is specified with SQL statements such as create index. And like logical design, it is specific to a database system. And diagrams for physical designs are not typically used. Some of the differences between these phases is that logical design affects the query result, whereas physical design can affect query processing speed, but it'll never affect the query, query result. And this is called data independence. And it's a major advantage of relational databases.